Welcome to Dead Man Talking. Tonight's show is a subscriber submitted story from a, a subscriber of mine who re- wishes to remain anonymous. Uh, Dogman encounter, and uh, this was a pretty pretty scary encounter, guys. Um, I definitely feel like the uh, the Dogman was definitely trying to find a weakness or, or just an opportunity. Uh, I think you guys will agree with me when you hear the story. Please do let me know what you think down below in the comments. Of course, please do like and share. And without further ado, let's get into tonight's story I'll entitle Dogman in Alberta. Let's get straight into that. Hi DMT. I've got a uh, encounter I think you might like. Here goes. I reported this to the North American Dogman Project a few months ago, but I think it's something that you may like as well. For the record, I am retired from full military career with some overseas experience. No combat, but peacekeeping included. I am an avid hunter, although this episode really cut down on my solo hunting. I used to deer hunt a lot and in later years this devolved into much grouse and rabbit hunting. Pretty much addicted to rabbit hunting and I became very good at it, identifying great rabbit hotspots. I used to carry just a 22 rimfire rifle and minimal equipment so I could cover much terrain in just one day. But my favourite afternoon and early evening hunts, I started to encounter wolves and black bears much too often. A puny 22 was not sufficient protection, so a shotgun became preferred armament. Keep in mind, I was most often alone. This latest wonderful hunting spot was on the very edge of oil exploration territory, so there were survey trails, and they are just great pathways into this area. This particular east-west trail has several resident predators. One owl and a turkey vulture were often nearby or overhead at all times. The turkey vultures are recent residents here in northeastern Alberta, but this is well known by locals. So no one questions vulture appearances. But one unusual sound I heard at least twice and could never identify the source was a constant coughing sound. Like a cat coughing up a furball, but at higher volume. Strangely, it never changed in pitch or volume, and one could say it sounded like a recording of this sound, but over and over and over being repeated. I found this very strange indeed. It only happened at this particular locale before or since. I believe twice meaning at least one other hunting trip this strange coughing sound was heard, but the animal source never identified. Anyways, I was on a late afternoon hunt walking away to the east from my parked truck on the main road north and south. As I came near to a junction of two trails, I plainly heard some medium sized animal off to my right along the south side of this trail. In the dusky light, I decided to sit on a large rock and placing my trusty shotgun across my lap, I sat down facing the critter that now began to circle me. I assumed it was moving around me in an attempt to catch my scent. And then, there it was. I caught sight of this animal as it stepped behind a tree. I could see its rear legs and flank its rear legs had hocks just like a canine. As it rounded the tree, I could not identify exactly what it was, and I have never ever seen a canine like this before or since in the wilderness. Its front legs were longer than its back legs, kind of odd. Its hair around the canine like muzzle was long and scruffy looking. It looked like the incisor teeth were extremely long. It also had a muzzle like a dog. It had two upright ears like a dog, but I could see pointed 
tuft hairs extending just a little bit past the point it is. This is kind of murky in my memory, but I think it had yellowish coloured eyes that stared very intently at me. I felt that something very odd was going on, on some kind of mental level, best I can describe. I was being evaluated by this on four legs beast, as if it was measuring my willingness to stand my ground or otherwise. An odd insation overcame me, indeed. I've never felt this way before or since, and its back and chest seemed overly muscular for a wolf. The coat colour was reddish along the back and then maybe yellowish tones patched also on the back. Overall, it was kind of a greyish coat. This is very hard to describe with accuracy due to the rapidly fading light conditions. And soon, it will be dark to be in the forest. Soon, it will be too dark to be in the forest. Well, I could not decide right there and then whether to shoot it or not. But I had my over-under shotgun at the shoulder just in case it attacked me because we were literally only 15 meters apart right then. I decided I should not shoot because I could not identify this creature, but it did look closest in my mind to the shape of only an African hyena, in my opinion, which is really weird for Alberta. I left heading towards my truck, but very often stopping and then turning with the gun at shoulder just in case. This happened about three years ago and I have only told three people until very, very recently. Two close friends of mine and one family member. The negative reaction from one friend tempered my desire to tell more people about this very odd encounter. And I must repeat that at no time was this strange dog-like creature walking upright on its hind legs. Did I have fear? Yeah, but I was the one with a reliable shotgun and lots of ammo, so I felt that this was sufficient self-protection if things did go south. i never seen it again, but I must say I've never returned to that same spot. This could change as three close friends have been bothering me to return there. Of course, we will all be armed and looking to fill our larders with small game. This DMT, I swear, to be a truthful story. Sincerely, Anonymous. Wow, wow, thank you so much, uh, subscriber, for sending that one in. Um, really interesting, really, really interesting encounter, guys. Again, with the uh, description liking that of a, uh, a hyena, and uh, it's not obviously the first time that we have heard about this sort of uh, description. Possibly, I would say, maybe a Type 4 Dogman, guys, or possibly a Type 3 Canine. Um, do let me know what you also think down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinions, guys. Thank you ever so much for all the support you guys have shown me. Uh, all the likes, shares and comments really, really has been noticed and uh, can't thank you enough. Have a great week, everybody. And remember... Be safe, not sorry.